So now with the cup, you were saying before that in Israel that they, they've got an immunity or that they're trying to protect them, mm. ironically. What to say that we're not going to have that here, that these fish aren't going to have develop immunity because they're so tough. I think we have to plan for the eventuality that we will start to see some recovery from the small numbers of carp that are left in the system. And I need to make really clear, um, eradication, getting that last carp out is extremely improbable. What we will do is significantly reduce the population of carp and significantly reduce their impacts. But those carp that are present in the system will start to try and um, repopulate. And so we need to be prepared for that and have measures in place ready to continue to suppress the carp numbers, but importantly to also promote the recovery of native fish. Um, so we have to think beyond the release of the carp virus, we need to see it as a springboard to do a range of things to promote recovery of the, our waterways and their health and the, the native fish that are in there. Of course we've got some wonderful things we can do, you're absolutely right, we can put snags back in the water, we can restore the migratory pathways by building fishways at dams and weirs, um, we can build self-cleaning screens onto pumps so that fish aren't entrained into pumps as we extract water, all of these sort of things that we can do and we need to be doing at the same time as we release this virus to maximise the outcomes. Absolutely, so it's really exciting that we've got this virus going but it's only one step and a much bigger much bigger staircase I think in this case. Absolutely and it's important for me to make the point that we still have a long way to go. We need to get approval under four key pieces of legislation. Um, that's a really involved process and it should be because we're bringing a virus in to release into our natural waterways. We need to make sure that we understand the risks and we can control them.